hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be trying my first lace front wig i had to watch some youtube videos to be able to do this so if this is your first time you're not alone let's do this please if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe now and turn on your notification as well let's get right into the video i'm using tinashe wig it came with a wig cap it's similar to my color and then i have this band that came with it as well i'm using got to be glue for the wig cap and so as you can see i'm applying the glue and did i let it dry probably yeah for some seconds and usually you can use the spray i didn't have the spray that's why i just used the glue and i have to let it dry for some minutes i'm going to cut my ears i know i know that's that's the kind of expression i had for the first time and i had to cut the front i needed to use a smaller scissors i didn't have that either so i had to use a big scissors it wasn't perfect but it was manageable and now i'm applying my foundation color at the front so that when you pat the wig it will look just like my color yep this seems like a lot of work but yeah i had to do that that's what they did in the youtube videos so i had to do same to see the outcome i had more cutting to do to make it look good today i'll be using the bold hold active i've watched a lot of videos about it, it looks like it's a good one so i decided to go for bold hold active and i think ghost bond is also very popular you can also try that so I applied the first layer, that's what I read the instructions, they said you should apply the first layer and then you let it dry, clear. So I had to use the hand dryer to make it dry quickly. And the, on the instruction, they mentioned you can apply as many as seven layers. but. I mean seven layers is a lot so I think I did three layers and now it's time to put on the wig there are some pins in there that I wanted to ensure that they were well placed and what I like about this wig is the lace at the back so if you want to hold your hair upward it's way easier that way yeah i had to make it dry and i have a smaller face so there were some extras of the um lace front so i had to cut that part and make it fit my face and now from the youtube videos they say you have to cut it in the zigzag um, pattern so that's what i was trying to do that way it looks more natural I think the smaller scissors would have done better work I realized that the front part of the lace needed some plucking so that's what I did so it looks more natural before laying my edges and for the edges I um, cut the sides because that's where I find my natural hair edges so I just cut that part uh, from the videos, you don't always have to cut it. You can just brush it. But I decided to cut it. And I used the got to be glue to lay my edges. And uh, two different parts. And then I did the bottom. And I did the same thing from the for the other side. So I'm all done. Just to make sure that the edges are well laid, I used the band. To tie it for uh, some hours I guess and this is the end result after removing it I love this hair it looks like my natural hair yeah the length and everything so I love it 
so um just to create i wanted to style it on the side and to create the part i had to use the mousse because your other option is to pluck it and i didn't want to do that work so i just used the mousse quickly and here we go and this is the afro style to get the water curls i added some water and then i added coconut curling cream because it defines the curls better and then i had to dry it after that there's a, a better tool for using it there's a special dryer for that i didn't have that so i had to use my hand in conjunction with the dryer that i have and um, this is the end result that is the the side part and i wanted to try i was curious about the center so the same way i use the mousse to define the the line and um, i think it, it defines it well enough but if you want you can do the plucking i didn't want to do that so here we go guys we are all done and that is it thanks guys for watching my video see you in the next one ciao